Hi, this is Naomi with the Top Shelf VA TV, your place for creativity and inspiration for business and life. Recently, Rain Person asked, can you please show me how to make a countdown video like 10, 9, 8, 7? I'm always happy to answer my subscribers' requests for tutorials. And for those who are new viewers, feel free to subscribe to the channel and request a tutorial. I'll be happy to incorporate your request into my list of upcoming videos. And in return, your help in building my subscriber base is always greatly appreciated. What you will learn in this tutorial is how to create a countdown timer with various features on three separate tracks. You will then save the timer to your library so you can use it in future videos and easily change the style of the timer by turning on or off one or more tracks or removing transitions, adding transitions, etc. It's a once and done project but still having the ability to create numerous different looks from this one library asset for future videos. So let's begin. The first thing we need to do is create our actual numbers. I'm going to show you three ways to create these numbers. I prefer creating my numbers as PNG assets in either Photoshop or PowerPoint as Camtasia does not have anti-aliasing capabilities with its text tool. What anti-aliasing does is smooth out the jagged edges. If we're not using anti-aliasing, then the jagged edges are extremely apparent on any video on a larger monitor. I'll quickly show you how to create the PNG numbers in each program. It'll be more of a fast synopsis for each program. Then we'll move into how to create the numbers in Camtasia and all the features for the countdown. If you want to skip to the specific sections, you can click on any of the below buttons, which will take you to the specific instructions for how you wish to create your numbers. In Photoshop, create a new document that has a transparent background. The size is 1920 by 1080 and the DPI is 100. 150 to 300. Click on your text tool and make sure the color is white. Select a font that is a nice thick font. I'm using a font called Hattenschweiler. Type the number 10. Click on your move tool and then Ctrl plus T to transform and expand it for the full height of the image. Hit enter to apply the change. Right click on the layer, select export as PNG and save the file in your project's image folder. Then change the number to 9. Export as PNG and for each number 8, 7, 6, all the way to 0, do the same exact process saving to the image folder for this project. To create your numbers in PowerPoint, make sure your slide is set at a 16-9 ratio, which should be the default in PowerPoint 2016. Change your background color to black so you will be able to easily see the white text color. Click on the text box from the Home tab. Make sure your text color is white. Select a font that is a nice thick font. I'm using the Hattenschweiler font. Change the font size to a large number so it fills the full height of the screen. Make sure the text box is selected. Right click on the number and make sure you are saving as PNG type and save the file in your project's image folder. Now change the number to 9 and do the same process for saving each number 8, 7, 6, all the way to 0 as a PNG image. Okay, let's move to how to create these numbers in Camtasia. Click on the Callouts tab or click on C for Callouts and scroll down to the text Callout. Remove the fadeout. Type 10 in the text box. Highlight it, then select a font that is a nice thick font. I'm using the Hattenschweiler font. Now make the font size as large as possible. For this font, I know I want to make it 900 points, so I'll type in the number rather than using the drop down arrow menu. Make sure you have selected the color white from the color drop down box. Now expand the text callout frame so you can easily see the number. Let's make sure this number is only one second long by grabbing the end of the callout and dragging it to the left until it shows it is one second long. Now what you will notice is if we want to minimize this or increase this callout size, we can't do it from the text callout box frame because it doesn't affect the text. There is a trick to get around this. Make sure the callout is highlighted. Press Ctrl and C for copy, or you can use the copy icon here. Then press Ctrl and V for paste, or you can paste using the paste icon here. Highlight both callouts and press Ctrl and G to group the two together. Let's go ahead and label this 10. 
Now you will see you can adjust the text and group size by pressing your shift key. Then click on a corner box and you can drag to minimize or expand the text from the center. Now move your playhead to the right of group 10. Oh, before we do that, we should open the group and remove the top 10 callout from the group. We really no longer need it. It will simply appear as an empty track in the group. Now with the play edge to the right of group 10, butting up against the edge, copy the group 10 with Ctrl plus C and paste it with Ctrl plus B. You'll see it kept the one second time frame. Let's change the label to the number 9. Expand the group, select the callout by double clicking on it and it will highlight the number in the gray text area of the callout setup. Now sometimes it won't highlight the number in the text box even if you've double or triple checked it. If it doesn't, go into the text area and manually highlight it from there. You may also have to reselect the font type, size, and font color. Change the number by typing 9. Move the playhead to the right of the group 9 and making sure the group is highlighted, copy it by pressing Ctrl C and then Ctrl and B to paste. Change the label to 8. Open the group and double click the callout. Change the number to 8 and follow the same procedures as before. Do the same procedures of moving the playhead to the right of the group number, copying, pasting, changing the number 8, 7, 6, all the way to 0, formatting it again if necessary. Once you are done with that, highlight all the numbers and press Ctrl and G to group them together. We'll change the label on this to numbers and move it up one track. Now you can see it will do the countdown. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. That's the way you create your Camtasia numbers. However, I like my PNG numbers for the anti-aliasing reasons. So I'll delete the Camtasia numbers, click on Import, then I will select all the number images from 0 to 10 and then click on Open. I'll put each number on the track and then drag from the right to the left to make each number one second. Highlight all the numbers and then press Ctrl and G to group them together. Now we are going to start creating some of our other features for the countdown that will allow us to easily modify for future videos. Let's create a sketched circle effect around each of the numbers. We'll move the group of numbers up one track. Let's go ahead and lock the numbers track before we do anything. We'll click on the callout tab or press C and scroll down to the sketch motion oval callout to select it. Let's make the fade in and fade out 0.27 seconds. Move your cursor to the right of the callout and dragging to the left, decrease the size to one second. Let's move it down to one of the bottom tracks. Move the playhead to the center of the callout so we can see the oval. Let's temporarily move it to the side to easily see it. We'll have to adjust it a little to make it more of a circle. To expand from the center, press your shift key and drag out by one of the corner squares and move it back so it is centered under the number and has space around it. Click on borders and width. Unfortunately, it only goes as high as 18 pixels and doesn't let you adjust that thickness size further. So go ahead and select 18 pixels. Then turn off the shadow effect by clicking on the effects drop down arrow and unchecking shadow. I do want it to be thicker, so I'm going to copy this callout by making sure it is highlighted and pressing Ctrl and C for copy. Move the playhead to the beginning of the callout and pressing Ctrl and B to paste. We'll go ahead and bring this down so it is sitting on the track right above the same callout. Let me lock this bottom track. You want to make the full circle to appear thicker than it actually is. To do that, click on the top sketch circle callout to highlight it and pressing the shift key, move the circle in far enough to make it appear as if it is one thick line. Highlight both callouts and group them together by pressing Ctrl and G. If you want, you can label each of the sketch circles you create. Move the playhead to the right of the Sketch Circle 10 group. Making sure the Circle 10 group is highlighted, copy it by pressing Ctrl and C and then Ctrl and V to paste. Move the pasted Sketch Circle callout group down to the same track. We want to have each number with a different color, so click on the plus sign to open the group. With one of the callouts highlighted or both, click on the border drop down and change the color. Then click on the other callout if you didn't highlight both of them and also change that color 
color from the border drop-down color menu. Keep repeating this process by moving the playhead to the right of the last sketch circle group. Copy, paste, change color for all the remaining group circles. Once you have done that, you have created a second version of your countdown timer. Now you can add a transition that will make it even more interesting. Let's add the flip transition between each circle sketch callout group and make it 18 milliseconds. Now let's highlight all the circle sketch callout groups and group those together. We'll call the group Circle Draw. So far, we have three different looks to the countdown timer. Let's move these two groups up to open another track on the bottom. The next effect I want is to add a full solid circle behind the numbers. Making sure our playhead is at the beginning, we'll click on the callouts tab or press C. We'll click on the circle callout to select it. We'll move our playhead to the right in order to see our sketched circle. We'll remove the shadow effect by clicking on the effects drop down and unchecking shadow. Click on the effects drop down again, click on style and select the flat style. Let's remove the fade out. Then move the circle callout to the bottom track so it is behind everything. Putting our cursor on the right hand side of the callout, we'll drag it to the left until it lines up with one second. Holding our shift key down, we'll now now expand the circle until we no longer see any black area inside of the sketch circle area. Let's go ahead and remove the border on the circle by clicking on the border drop down arrow and clicking on no border. We'll finish expanding the circle until it lines up with the sketch circle which you can tell when the yellow lines appear on the sides. Now copy by pressing Ctrl and C, move the playhead to the right of the current circle callout group, then Ctrl and V to paste and move it down to the bottom track. Change the color of the new circle by clicking on the drop down arrow for the fill color and select a new color. Then continue the process of copying, moving the playhead to the right of the callout, paste, move down to bottom track, and changing the color of the circle until you have created a new circle for each number. Now let's add the same flip transition between each transition at 18 milliseconds to match the other transitions above. Highlight all the circles on track 1 and press Ctrl and G to group them together. We'll call this group Solid Circles. Let's also go up to our Numbers group, expand it, and add the same flip transitions between each transition at 18 milliseconds to match the other transitions. Now let's see the full effect. We can now add this to our library by highlighting all three groups and pressing Ctrl and G to group those together. We'll call this group Countdown. Right click on the group and select Add Asset to Library. That way, in the future when you want a countdown timer, all you need to do is click on your library tab and select Add to Timeline at Playhead. You can adjust the size of the timer group by pressing Shift and holding down one of the corner boxes of the frame and dragging it in or out to make it smaller or larger. You can move it to any location on the canvas you want. If you want to adjust the look of the timer, you can adjust any of the tracks to have a different look. First ungroup by right clicking on the group and selecting ungroup. You could decide you don't want the solid circle to show and simply hide the track by clicking on the little eye icon. You can do any combination of features you want by turning on and off track. You could remove transitions if you wanted by holding your control key down and clicking on each transition and pressing your delete button. If you decide you want the transition back, simply press control and Z to undo the delete. As you can see, you have a multitude of combinations you can now create with this countdown timer with having only created did it once, but now being able to change colors, timing, transitions, turning tracks on and off. Once you have created the timer look you want, simply group all the tracks together again by pressing Ctrl and G to group. Then adjust the size of the timer by pressing Shift and moving to the location you want. There you have it, a countdown timer that has a multitude of looks and uses. Thanks Rainperson for asking the question and requesting a tutorial. I hope everyone found this Camtasia training video helpful. If you have a question and would like me to create a tutorial video for you, simply subscribe to the channel, like this video, and leave a comment below. I'll be happy to add it to my list of training videos that are coming up in the near future. And please, 
feel free to share this video on Twitter, Facebook, or any of your other social media platforms and encourage your friends to subscribe to this channel. My goal is to help others with videos on business, life, and all things eclectic that come to my mind. Your help in building my subscriber base to 1,000 subscribers and more would be greatly appreciated. As always, this is Naomi with TopShelfVA.com. Until we meet again, have a wonderful day.